All right guys, so check this thing out what I picked up. This boat has been sitting since 2013. It's really dirty and when I picked it up there's actually plants growing inside this boat. There's mold on it. It's actually pretty gross right now. Um, <clears throat> the motor is a 200 Mercury two-stroke, a 99, and under that hood it looks almost brand new. It is so clean under that hood. It's just the hood is sun faded in the Florida sun. Stainless steel prop. Here I'm going to go inside the boat. The floor is really dirty. Here we're going to go up here. And I have bleached. I'm going to clean everything. I have no clue what this is even is. So, so the anchor is in here. Look how much leaves are in here. So dirty. Hopefully um, bleach and um, a good scrubbing is going to get everything off. But this is a 22 foot boat, a 1999. Um, what if some of this stuff works as a radio in here? I'm not sure how many hours this has. Look at this. There we go. This is the front cabin. Not bad at all. This needs a really good cleaning. That's pretty much it. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to scrub it down as best as I can and try to get everything cleaned up. I think this is the live hole right here. I think that's what the guy was telling me. Wow. <laughs> Must be clogged right there. It needs a lot of work. It has a lot of potential. Looks like the oil reservoir for the motor. Here, I'm gonna take the hood off. You guys gotta see how clean this motor is. I mean, you can look on the heads, there's no corrosion or anything. It's really clean. I haven't even cleaned this yet. Pretty nice. So check out the boat so far. It is a complete turnaround so far and we're not even close to being done completely. We got most of all the growth off. Still, it still needs a lot of cleaning and I'm going to attempt to start this engine and see what it does. As you can see these hatches are really dirty still. We're gonna go inside the boat show you around so you can see how much soil is down there <laughs> but um, seats are cleaning up coming up to the front huge difference if you remember huge difference look how wide it is up here and we're gonna take you guys into the cabin Little lizard. We have a problem in here though because we there is no drain and when we pressure wash there's some water that comes in here so we have to get a wet towel but anyway 
It looks nasty now, but it's actually pretty nice up here. And we have the cushions over there. They're in good shape. So we're going to finish up cleaning today and we're going to attempt to start this engine and see what happens. Check this guy's out. Look how clean this boat's coming out. Really clean. Looking really good. So what I did is I removed all six spark plugs out. This is what they look like. They're not bad at all. There's no rust or anything in the cylinders. Um, I believe that there's a very good chance that this motor will start up. Now I'm sure the carbs have to come off and need to be cleaned, but we'll see what happens before I even attempt to crank this engine over. I'm going to put some a little bit of oil in the cylinders to help lubricate it because it has been sitting for so long. So the motor is ready to be started. Hopefully it starts. I have no clue what it's going to do. So let's hope for the best. Got a kink in here. So after turning on the motor, um, it does have a really weak water pump and I have to take this lower unit off in order to put a new impeller in it. So here is the old impeller and here is a brand new impeller. The fins are a lot softer, straighter, the fins are really hard on this impeller. It's going to pump water really good now after I put this one in. So here's the boat finally cleaned up. I'm going to do a quick overview on the outside. If you guys remember, there was a lot of mold and whatnot on the outside and it was completely moldy inside with a bunch of leaves and growth. Here's the engine. It runs great. Take you guys inside with me. Chairs are pretty white. Come up here. You guys remember, um, everywhere on the side, it was trashed up here really bad. Here's the anchor compartment. All cleaned up. Nice and white up here. Windshield's clean. Take you guys inside the front cabin. all cleaned up in here Looking you guys inside it's not too big in here but you guys can see a little bit the radio in here speakers cushions are in decent condition window on each side fire extinguisher Come back out. Close the door. Here's the console. I'm 
can show you these compartments. This one needs to be cleaned a little bit more, but if you remember before, it was really bad. Got to put your fishing poles in here, rod holders, compartments in the back, battery switch. Nice little boat. We're going to take it out tomorrow for a little spin. We're going to see how she runs on the water. So here we are. We got the boat in the water. This is our first sea trial. Hopefully everything goes well. ropes uh, ready and I'm gonna back her up over there. There she is. She's finally in the water. Check her out. Huge difference. It took only two days and look at this. She's already on the water and she's about to have a sea trial. Motor's running in excellent. No issues. We're gonna take her out on the lake. We'll see how fast she'll go. So that was it. We are back. Sea trial went excellent. No issues whatsoever. The boat hit maximum of 44 miles an hour. We're bringing it back from the trailer. Couldn't be any happier. I'm just glad that we got this boat out of the guy's yard and cleaned it up. And look at that. She's on the water within two days. Can you believe it? 
really nice boat. Appreciate you guys for watching and give this video a thumbs up.